So what is percent composition? Essentially what percent composition is, it is the percent by mass of something within something. In chemistry, that would mean it's the percent of a certain element within a compound. I like to use the example of trail mix. Trail mix has made up of lots of different things, but M&Ms are the best part, let's be honest. And so I can find the percent composition of M&Ms within trail mix by looking at the mass of trail mix total, the whole, and then looking at the part, which is M&Ms. So I can pull out all the M&Ms, take the mass of just those M&Ms, and compare the two to see what the percent of um, the mass of trail mix is made up of M&Ms. And so the example that we're going to do today with this lab is we are going to calculate the percent composition of sugar within this piece of double bubble bubble gum. Yeah, say that 10 times fast. So to do this, I'm going to record the mass of unchewed piece of double bubble. I'm then gonna chew it for about mm, five-ish minutes until I can no longer taste that sugary flavor. Once that's done, I know I've ingested all the sugar, there's none left. And I'm going to record the mass of my chewed piece of bubble gum. Now to calculate this percent composition, I need to determine how much sugar was in here, how many grams. And so to do that, I'll take the mass of my unchewed bubble gum, so the before, and then I'll subtract the mass of the chewed bubble gum, which is the after, and that difference is going to tell me the mass of the sugar. From there, I can plug those into my equation. The mass of my sugar, that after that difference that I found, that's gonna be my part. And my whole is going to be the mass of the unchewed bubble gum. So let's take our measurements and see what we find. So to record these measurements, I need to make sure that I zero out the balance before I put on my piece of bubble gum because I don't want it to include the mass of the wrapper. So I'm gonna zero it. And then now I will be able to put my bubble gum on there and it'll only measure the mass of my bubble gum. And so this piece is uh, 6.5 grams. So in that first column, this is going to be my before, my unchewed piece of bubble gum is 6.5 grams. So let's chew it up and see what we get. So the flavor is out of my bubble gum, and so now I'm ready to take the mass of my chewed piece of bubble gum. Again, I need to make sure that I zero the balance so that it does not include the mass of my wrapper. And so I'll place on my chewed piece of bubble gum, and we will record it at 2.3 grams. So the after the chewed piece of bubble gum is 2.3 grams. And so again, to calculate the mass of the sugar within a piece of bubble gum, you are going to take the mass of the unchewed piece and subtract the mass of the chewed piece. That difference is going to show you the amount of sugar within one piece of gum. From there, you will take that mass of your sugar, which is the part, and divide it by the mass of the unchewed piece of bubble gum, which is your whole. Once you've done that, that is your calculation for the percent composition of sugar within your piece of bubble gum.